A PRICELESS COLLECTION OF ARTWORK WAS STOLEN EARLY THIS MORNING FROM BOSTON'S ISABELLA STEWART GARDNER MUSEUM. THAT WAS 1990, 30 YEARS AGO THIS MONTH, AND TODAY THE GARDNER MUSEUM HEIST REMAINS THE LARGEST UNSOLVED ART THEFT IN HISTORY. AND NOW, FOR THE FIRST TIME, VISITORS CAN RETRACE THE STEPS THE ROBBERS TOOK BEFORE THEY STOLE AT LEAST A HALF BILLION DOLLARS IN FINE ART. AND IT'S A CHILLING REMINDER OF WHAT WAS LOST. The frames are still empty at Boston's Gardner Museum, stark testimony to an infamous robbery that cost the museum 13 exquisite pieces of art. Now, a new audio tour gives visitors a step by step look at how it happened. You're about to hear the story of a horrific robbery. Your guide is the best you can get, Anthony Amore, the museum's director of security for the last 15 years. The audio tour is an uh, opportunity for visitors to come to the museum and be told exactly what was here and how uh, the pieces that were stolen were taken. The robbers came to this store in the early hours of March 18, 1990, disguised as Boston police and convinced two security guards to let them in. They immediately overtake the security guards, cover their eyes and mouths with duct tape. The thieves head down this hallway. This room. The Dutch room was where the two thieves went directly after getting inside the museum. They begin stealing Rembrandts. The museum knows where the robbers went because motion detectors tracked their movements. And based on that information, we're able to see the path that the thieves took in the museum from the time they entered to the time they departed. And this audio tour, in some respects, um, recreates their path. One of the robbers heads here to the short gallery. He goes to the third cabinet door to the right of the doorway. Where he snatches a number of works by Degas, including a series of drawings. Then to the blue room, where they take this painting, the last they would steal. It is the biggest property theft in the history of the world. Uh, estimates for the value of the art uh, would go from $500 million to uh, much beyond that. It lasted 81 minutes, an eternity for art thefts, which are usually hit and run affairs, lasting only about 10 minutes. There's not a day goes by that we're not still working. We're still hopeful that the pieces will be recovered. And Amore, in fact, says he remains optimistic that the case will be cracked. Now, there's still a $10 million reward for information that leads to the recovery of the artwork. You can take the audio tour at the museum or simply listen to it through the museum's website right at home. And we're saying this is a change in approach Definitely. for the museum. Right. I mean, they're actually embracing this as something that they want people to know about. And the intrigue is so great. This has got to boost attendance. I think so. It'll draw visitors there to find out about this amazing piece of history. I'll go do that. <laughs>